If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mine. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raises up when you. Good morning, Cardano Army. Another day, another video about Cardano. We are here. Sorry for no video yesterday. I was having some technical difficulties, but we've shored some of that stuff up. Hopefully, there won't be any issues further. But we're back talking about Cardano. I got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started. We got some big news from MinSwap. Shout out to MinSwap, the number one dex when it comes to TVL on Cardano. Shout out to them. Um, MinSwap. Min Wallet is now supported by Ledger. You can now use a hardware wallet on uh, Android Web and PWA with more versions and devices coming soon. So you can now use your uh, Min Swap on Ledger. This is pretty cool, guys. So, and then, uh, you know, we have a comment down here on Twitter. Please audit and open source your contacts. I would wholeheartedly agree with that. I'm talk, I, I, uh, this is a call to all decentralized protocols on Cardano. Smart contract audit token. Get in contact with them. Not sponsored. And you need to open source your project. There's no excuse. If you're on Cardano, you need to be open source. All right, guys. So shout out to MinSwap. Continue to build. Let's actually take a look at MinSwap on DeFi Llama. So, taking a look here, seeing about 51.41 million, looking pretty good, continuing to grow. Ring Rider sitting here at, uh, you know, 20 million. We'll see if they're able to uh, recapture a lot of their lost total value locked since uh, that hack occurred. So, uh, hopefully they can recover. I think they will. They've got good people there, good, um, uh, good UI, good... Uh, good reward, so we'll see. Sunday swap in third, music swap in fourth. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. It's still early. There's still more projects being built each and every day, and uh, we'll we'll definitely keep an eye on the TVL of our favorite projects. Let's go ahead and move on. All right, guys. OneCom, thank you to OneCom ticker symbol one C O M M. Please consider delegating your crypto to small stake pool operators out here, guys. It's important you do so now that the prices are down, interest rates are going up, and the cost of actually um, running a stake pool is getting more and more expensive by the day. Okay, guys, so you're going to have to support your favorite, your favorite small stake pool operator out there. It's imperative that you do so. Okay, guys, I choose OneCom, ticker symbol 1COMM, but, you know, you choose your uh, favorite one as well. Thank you to OneCom for sponsoring the video. You can also follow them on Twitter for news and updates as well, guys. Thank you again. Let's go ahead and move on. Bam! Ergodex, guys. Ergodex. This is pretty cool. Looks like they are rebranding. All right. Now, I could never get Ergodex to work on my computer. I don't know why. <laughs> this is not a slight to them. If you can use Ergodex, that's great. But for some reason, it just does not work on my computer. But I know people want to follow it when the full release comes out. I think I'll try it again. But they have rebranded to Spectrum. Okay, so Ergodex is now Spectrum. So this is pretty cool. Um, I would turn on the sound, but you know, YouTube with their copyright stuff. Um, so yeah, this is actually pretty cool. Shout out to Ergodex, AKA Spectrum. <laughs> and uh, can't wait for the full release. Definitely be awesome. Let's go ahead and move on guys. Got a short video here. Um, we've got the general manager of Emergo talking about uh, blockchain and infrastructure for banking. This is actually pretty cool. Nice little blur from him. Let's take a look at what he has to say. 
Uh, I, I think the predominant reason why is because right now, like if you're living in the, uh, I would say a more developed country, there is a lot of banking infrastructure that currently exists, but there's substantial fees that are associated with that banking infrastructure. It's not like the technology itself is difficult. It's just the intermediaries that exist currently are interjecting themselves in a way in which they're taking a substantial fee out of a lot of these transactions. Uh, if you look at things in the blockchain space, there are no intermediaries. You're interacting directly with the uh, ledger yourself. And that actually ends up taking out a lot of the frictions that currently exist. And also, if you move towards, I would say, more developing nations or areas that don't have access to this type of infrastructure, it's a lot, easy for, a lot easier for us to be able to deploy this infrastructure into those types of locales. And that's how we can start to service locations or people that don't have access to banking currently. Uh, I, I you know, I wholeheartedly agree with him. You know, in America, you know, we're kind of spoiled. In developed nations, we're kind of spoiled with, you know, a plethora of choices for banking services, insurance services, um, identity services, you know, just having an ID, just having insurance, being able to purchase insurance for your car or your house or your apartment. Anything like that is actually a luxury uh, in a developed country. You know, I, I hate paying my insurance every month, but it is actually a luxury. And those people who don't have that stuff, you know, they're at a disadvantage when it comes to financial security. You know, the farmer in, you know, middle of Africa who has to walk or drive three miles or five miles or a hundred miles or however much he has to drive if his, if his little bike breaks you know that could be catastrophic for him or his business or his tractor breaks or tool breaks that he can't fix that's why insurance services are important um identity services identification services those are important for uh you know financial records education records being able to verify does is this doctor a real doctor stuff like that we, that we take for granted in America, this is why Cardano exists. This is why Cardano is setting up Otala Prism. This is why Cardano is setting up World Mobile to get people connected, Emergo, things like that, guys. So uh, shout out to Emergo, shout out to IOHK, and uh, let's continue to truck on. And finally, guys, real quick, we got Coinbase here. Shout out to Coinbase. I think they are a sneaky buy. Um, I believe Coinbase could be a trillion dollar, um, uh, trillion dollar uh, business at some point in the future. Uh, it may take 20 years, but I think it could happen. And right now, Coinbase, in my humble opinion, is looking pretty tasty. I think it's at like, what, $90, $90 $80, something like that. Um, if it does dump a little bit more, maybe towards like the $50 range, I'd love to pick up some more Coinbase. But for now, people have been uh, speculating that Coinbase could be in financial trouble. I don't think they are. They've survived plenty of bear markets, guys. This is not their first rodeo. Uh, they posted a $1.1 billion loss. Um, a $1.1 $1 billion net loss. Uh, this quarter they had a loss uh, last quarter as well to be expected due to crypto winter um, just the, the transaction fees are are a little bit lower but it does seem like they have a lot of cash left in order to weather the storm um, so that's what's important you know if they can keep that cash hold on it they have about five billion dollars in cash so they can withstand some of these losses as interest rates go higher. I'm not worried. I kind of hope the price, the stock price goes down a little bit more, <laughs> please. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, I'll be on the lookout for that. And that could be like a, 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 um, a sneaky, a sneaky buy in the future. All right, guys. So keep your eye on Coinbase. They're going to survive crypto winter, but still get your crypto off of exchanges, though. Always do that. All right, guys. I love you all so much. Don't let your means be dreams. I'll talk to you guys soon with the VeChain and Cardano updates. Have an amazing day. Goodbye. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Before we end, I'd like to say thank you to our wonderful Patreons. Without you guys, I don't know if I'd still be doing this. Thank you so much 
for your wonderful support. Maryland for Crypto, Anthony Andrews, Bruce Den, Kyle Bakji, CryptoCT.si, Angeltopia, DNC Vale, Leon Jackson II, Kragen, Offlair LLC, and Lucky Sunshine Token. Thank you again. I humbly appreciate you. Go ahead, click the links down below, hit the like button and the subscribe button, and we'll be back with another V Chain and Cardano video.